Yo, what's going on dudes? It's K Titan here with a brand new video for you guys and in today's video I have something a little bit different planned for you guys because we are going to be creating another new map So if you guys watched yesterday's video where I ended up making it to round 411 on Apocalypse On the map that I created the longest map I said I wanted to create another longest map for late game But I wanted I want to have a little bit more detail and I want it to look a little bit better than this map because this map looks cool, but I feel like we could do a little bit of a better job. Now, I don't know if the map that I'm about to create is going to be longer than the previous map, but I'm going to try my best to make it a pretty long map. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to choose a pathway that I want to go with. Now, one thing with like using the event, the eventual sun god and stuff like that, um, the pathways that the eventual sun god usually do pretty well on are like pathways that have like really straight lines. So it can damage multiple balloons at once. But on the longest path, like it actually worked out really good for our Vengeful Sun God. But I also want the pathway to be a little bit different because I want there to be like um like a straight path. But at the same time, I want the Vengeful Sun God to be able to have like full reign of the entire track. So a pathway that I'm thinking about doing, what if I come in from the top here? And we just do a bunch of circles around the middle here. But if I did that, then the eventual well, actually no. If if I put like the eventual sun god on one side, then they then he would have like a straight line with the circle. I think that would end up working out pretty well. Plus, if we make this uh, circle a little bit smaller, we could actually probably uh, have uh, quite a few rounds for the for the balloons to take. And then because I want to make sure that I'm keeping track of where the balloons are. Periodically, I'm gonna have to have uh, the balloons like take an alternative path and we'll like have the alternative path like come down here and over this way. I think that would end up working out really, really well. So let me go ahead uh, for this. I am gonna be using the invisible pathway again because the invisible pathway, I know it's gonna end up using up a lot of props like making the like custom pathway, but because the pathway that I'm gonna be making isn't gonna be like super massive, I think it should end up looking pretty all right, if I'm not mistaken. So like I was saying, we'll have the balloons. Actually, no, let's let, let, let's mix it up from the other the other map and we'll have the balloons enter from one side. So we'll have them enter over here on this side. Then we'll have them come here. And then this is where things are going to start getting a little bit different. So we'll have like the balloons come down here. And then if I extend this out like this and I make the pillars as long as I can, and then I drop it down and then I add like another one up here and I do the same thing the thing to this. Dude, I think we could actually get a pretty solid like a circle going on here, right? And it wouldn't eat up a lot of the pylons either. So I'll have to mess a little bit with this pylon here. But as long as we do this, like I think we can make like a perfect circle map that just continue like just circles around a ton. And I feel like this would be a really, really long, long map. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and get this pathway set up. And then after I get this pathway set, set up, I'll bring you guys back as soon as I'm done. All right, dudes. So I honestly have no idea how many circles this does, but we are currently on our last node. So I'm going to have to do my best, like try and make this node like a fit into the map as good as I can. And you know what? Uh, I think we can actually do it like uh, we just have to make this go a little bit further over here and then raise this up a little bit and then it's kind of hard because trying to like find like the node that is like um or trying to find like the last node in this giant pile of nodes is just going to be pretty much impossible so I think um this ends up looking at looking pretty good and it definitely like shows the egg, the egg exit point too. So because it's like this, what if I went ahead and um, I had these enter over here. Uh, that'll also make this kind of like blend into the pattern a little bit easier, I believe. I say it'll blend into the pattern a little bit easier, but it definitely won't. So instead, I think the only thing I could do is add this node to the pile up top, um, and then I'll have like um, the entrance point over here as well. So we'll have them exit on or enter and exit on the same side. Because like I was saying, I think that's pretty much the only thing that I can really do uh, to make it seem like these like belong, right? And I think that looks pretty good. Like, I think I did a decent job at like kind of making the entrance and exit blend into the map pretty well. Um, well, I say that and then I just messed it up. Um, I need this to go up a little bit further. That way it's kind of like um, symmetrical with the bottom one. And I need to bring it this way as well. There we go. And I think that looks pretty good. So right now I have no 
idea how many uh circles around this pathway is so i'm gonna go ahead and check it really really quick with a balloon so there's one pass there's two paths there's three paths four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three and twenty three so the blues are going to come in and do 23 laps around this circle before they finally end up leaving that's gonna be absolutely insane dudes now the only problem that i'm having is now that we have like the pathway set up like what do i actually want to turn this map in into because like we have like the pathway set up but i didn't think about like what i actually wanted to like make this map right so one thing i want to do is i want to take a look at a different pathway because i mean what does this still look good if we used a different pathway i mean it doesn't look bad right um we could use like the snow pathway we could use the oh dude the sleigh pathway actually looks sick um maybe i'll do the sleigh pathway that we that way we have like a new pathway that we can use plus it'll really cut down on the props that we have that uh we use um the only problem that i kind of have with this is what do i want to make this map like if we can use the sleigh pathway i wonder if we could get away with like using an ice map and then with the ice map um we'll have this be like uh, i don't want to say an arena but then with this we could also add ourselves uh this like dark blue area here so we'll have like a place to like put uh like water towers and stuff and then we could like make the edges jagged um by doing something like this well i say i'm gonna make the edges jagged but i'm not exactly sure how i made that first jagged edge to be honest uh i feel like that would look a little bit weird but then again if we added like a bunch of detail i think we could actually make this blend in but i don't think i want to do the jagged edge um i think instead we could do like um like a pattern instead and this will allow us to like give our vengeful sun god the water buff uh let me see so if i like place this down here like this and then uh what kind of pattern uh what if we just do like the typical like yin and yang pattern so we'll have like the balloons come over here and then we need to like i kind of have this wait no we need to add ourselves another pylon first um there we go set this up perfectly and then one more over here for good measure um and then oh i think i need to add one one more uh probably right here uh but then again this one's gonna be a little bit weird um i need to make that smaller um and oh dude i'm completely messing this up uh i don't think i'm wait i actually no i'm not gonna go with the yin and yang pattern that's that, that's just, just not or i'm, I'm not like making it happen or i'm not i'm not able to make it look, look good um honestly guys i may end up scratching like the whole ice lake pattern thing instead um i know like it sounds like a really cool idea because then we could use this like really cool ice or this really cool ice path but what if instead we like turn the inside into like a cave because i said that the next map that i was gonna make is gonna be like a cave map so what if we just like turn this into a cave where the balloons are just like uh huddled, huddled around in the middle of the cave i think that would look pretty cool too or am i just like completely like lost right now um let me see so the background we're going to turn into um this like black background and then as far as like the pathway um actually that doesn't look too bad man like i'm gonna give this some like thought on the direction that i want to take this map and i'll bring you guys back as soon as like i have a definitive answer for what i want to do all right dudes i think i finally have it and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna turn this into a island theme map so i know i've done island themes map or island theme maps in the past but wouldn't it be cool if we like made a small island in the center of the map here and then we had like a couple of other islands on the outside so we'll have like islands over here and the islands over on this side will be like where you can like place all of your farms down and then we'll have a like it be kind of like a enclosed island where there's this island on the outside and then the water that's going through the inside would almost seem a, like a uh, I, I don't know what to call it like a little i don't want to say an indentation but almost like a like an island off of the beach of another island I think that would look really cool and then we'd have like a bunch of space down here to place down water towers and i'm gonna go ahead and like get the idea on the screen that way we guys have an idea of what i want to go for because it'll be easier to like show you guys rather than try to explain it so this is like the gist of what i have planned so i'll leave like a small indentation to like place down our true sun god 
we'll have plenty of room to like place down the neighbor of the seas over here or if we want to like place our neighbor of the seas right here we could also do that too um but um what if i add like another invitation on this side as well so we'll have like two places like we, we could place down at the vengeful sun god uh right here at the start and then we could also place our neighbor of the seas over here as well and that'll give it like more time to actually hit the balloons and I think that would end up working out really, really well, right? But now, right now, what we have going on isn't going to work because, like, the uh, beach looks a little bit too clean, right? We need to have a couple of uh, different wavy pa patterns in order to, like, make it look a little bit better. Um, And then once we, like, break up this, like, really, like, curved line and make it look a little bit more like a natural beach, I think it'll actually look way better. And there we go. So I ended up breaking up the edges of the island a little bit to make it like blend into the map a little bit better. Like right now, it's gonna look a little bit barren because we don't have a very much detail. But once we start adding uh, more detail to this map, then I really think it's gonna bring this map to life. So now I wanna add some grass to uh, the islands next. Oh, uh, actually I, I was gonna have a, this, this or like one side of the beach be a little bit more exposed, but I think that looks pretty good for the outside island. Now we need to add some more grass to this inside island as well. All right, and there we go. So we added a little bit of grass to this inner island too. And by no means is it perfect, but as I say in when I'm whenever I'm like creating maps, like you don't want like things to be like perfectly symmetrical because once you start like making things like perfectly symmetrical, then it's gonna start like uh, making the map seem a little bit off. Now I, I say that, but I do know that the uh, pathway is really, really, or has this like circle formation, which kind of makes it stand out. But um, the only reason why I'm designing this map is again to go like super, super late, late game, like past round 500. So this is the way that I just, or that's just the reason why I designed this map like this. Uh, that way we had like a really, really long path that would give our towers like the most chances to actually hit these balloons. So now that we've done all of that, the next thing we have to do is we start, we have to start adding a little bit more detail to our map. Now, luckily, because we actually used a pathway in uh, the BT6 map editor pass, we actually have so many props that we, that we can use to add a lot of detail and a lot of life to this map. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to add like a little bit of a mountain up here in the top of the map. And I also want to add a little bit of a rock feature down here as well, or over here in the top right as well. All right, so I went with like the stereotypical like face in the mountain vibe uh, for this rock feature up here in the top left. Now I know this is going to take away from a lot of like farming space, but I want to add a little bit more detail to this map than I had in the last map. Because if you guys remember, the last map was really lacking with the details. So I really wanted to make this map come to life because I didn't make that happen in the last longest map. So because of all of this, I am going to have to be really sparing with the rest of my detail. Like I'm going to have to like take advantage of like a bunch of shrubs. I'm going to have to use a bunch of props that really I don't have to worry about um, the blocking of towers. Like I could have made it so like we could have like placed a bunch of towers in inside these rocks, but I really don't feel like that's the right way of going about it. So instead, let's go ahead and add ourselves a couple more, uh, a couple of palm trees up here to bring our map to life a little bit more. And then we'll add like a kind of like a jungle vibe up here. And I think that would end up looking really, really cool. And I also want a similar vibe going around the mountain as well. So we'll go ahead and add a couple of palm trees around the mountain to add a little bit more detail. And it'll also like hide uh, any like uh, places where we ended up like messing up, which I think we did a pretty good job. But then again, we could have a couple of spots where it just like seems a little bit off. So by adding some greenery around the mountains, it'll really bring a lot of detail to our map and it'll also hide any imperfections that I may have missed. Now, the only problem I'm having is how am I going to add like a bunch of detail to this map without adding like a bunch of trees that will also allow us to like place down a bunch of farms down here in the bottom left. So that's the current predicament I'm in because I don't know what else I want to add on this map. I don't want to add any more rocks because uh, we already have like a bunch of rocks and I'm kind of like... Uh, kind of kicking myself in the butt for like making the mountain so big but once i got started i just like i was like yo we have to make this mountain absolutely ginormous that way you guys can really like see the face of the mountain all right so i added a little bit of uh, this greenery around the base of these trees because i used to like adding like uh, some greenery around the base that way adds a little bit more detail now i will come through and i will add a little bit of shrubs around all of the trees as well and that'll add a little bit more of an effect, but we still have this like wide open area down here that I don't know what, what to do with yet. I may just end up like turning it into like a flower patch 
that way it'll add a, a bunch of detail but it will also like um keep the space open to place down towers i think like adding a flower patch is probably going to be like the only thing that we can do also to add a little bit more detail i'm thinking about going through and adding all this grass along the beach and i've done this in the past and this always ends up working out really really well it's just the problem is that it takes a long time to get all of the like greenery like lined up perfectly right every time i do this i always end up like kicking myself in the butt for like committing to something like this because it takes forever to get like the perfect like direction on the, these like uh stamps because it's all like orangey so you need to like individually like check to make sure like um you're not missing out on like uh, the perfect ro rotation that, that you need for like a certain spot and it just gets really really tedious really really quick out of everything with the bt6 map editor this is definitely my least favorite thing about the entire thing is that you need to like uh play with these stamps to the point where you get like the perfect facing stamp and then if you end up like missing that per that perfect stamp and then you could end up like spending another like 20 30 minutes just trying to like find the perfect stamp position i say 20 or 30 minutes but i mean i mean like uh like one or two two minutes try, trying to find that perfect rotation all right there we go i finally got the perfect rotation on all of uh, these stamps like there are places that it looks a little bit weird but for the most part we have the entire beach covered which is exactly what i was going for so now that we have the entire beach covered the next thing that i'm debating on doing is what else i want to add to add a little bit more detail now i know i brought up that i wanted to add flowers which is definitely something that i'm going to do because we definitely need more color on our map so let me add a couple of like these like purple flowers and this will add a little bit more color to our like really green map and we'll also add some blue flowers as well and and this will like uh, kind of contribute to the feel that I wanted to go for of like the map kind of like being overgrown, right? Like right, like right now it won't seem too overgrown because we only have like a couple of these flowers. And I want to make sure that I don't position these flowers in spots where they're going to get in like the way of like placing down towers. But I do want to add them to add a little bit more color to our map. Because right now one thing that's like really missing on our map is the fact that we don't have any color at all. All right, now begins the fun part. We are going to be making a, um, a flower field over here here because i think the flower field would end up looking the best and it's not going to interfere with placements of towers also another thing that we could do is we could add some like overgrown grass oh dude that's actually something that i really want to add right now uh, because if we add this grass it'll add a lot more detail but with this grass i want to add a stamp layer um stamp layer two and then i want to drop this below the normal stamp layer and that really did nothing i honestly thought that would work a little bit better um instead let me go ahead we'll add ourselves like a couple of these like dark spots over here inside the cave and i think that would look pretty cool right and then what else do we want to add here um i want to add like a couple of bushels of uh, these like clovers to add a little bit more contrast to our map and then after we add uh, the bushels of clovers uh let's add a couple of these like light green wait no we're not gonna add the light green clovers because they just stand out a little bit too much so instead let's start working with like the flower stamp now now with these flower stamps i'm just going to be like placing them randomly throughout the map and then we'll go ahead and we'll fill in the blanks with like the colorful flowers now another thing that we could do oh dude i almost forgot about this um we could add another prop and we could like add little like dirt piles up here and we could actually have a little bit of greenery coming out of the dirt piles as well. And that'll really add to the overgrown aspect that we were looking for, right? And then by changing the height of this, we can make it seem like the dirt is like kind of not overgrown, but it's like kind of uh, like uh, piled up on the mountains. And I think this would really bring a lot of detail to our map, which is something that we're like missing right now as far as like, col like color wise at least and then once we add all this dirt to the mountain we could add a greenery to the dirt because the dirt would like kind of uh act as soil well i actually see the dirt would act for as soil for the greenery i right, still so unfortunately i can't place uh the dirt on top of the mountain because the mountain is as far up as we can get it so let's go ahead we'll add um a or this bush and because we have this, this dirt in the background that really adds like a whole new aspect to uh, the uh mountain right and then of course like not all spots are going to have um the uh dirt exposed so let me go ahead we'll add like another little like greenery pile here and then let's go ahead we'll add 
add like another one over here we'll, add, we'll actually make like a little bushel of the greenery over here and then we need to tilt it um and then i need to lower it a little bit so it's beneath the uh palm trees and yeah this is really really cool i really like the way that this that this looks so i'm gonna go ahead and continue to add some greenery to this mountain now and by adding the greenery to the mountain, like I was saying, it's really going to add a lot more detail to our build. All right. And I think by adding all of this greenery around the mountain, it'll really add a lot of detail to our map, which is exactly what we're going for. Um, I'll probably add a couple, a little bit more color by adding these flowers around the mountain too, like in like, or underneath all of these like bushes. I think that would look pretty cool, but we want the dirt to still be visible. So I don't think we're going to add a ton, but we'll add a couple. But now the main thing that I want to work on is I want to start adding like the flowers to the the open spots here. And this will really add a bunch more detail to our map as well. Uh, well, at least it'll add a lot more color to our map, which is exactly what we're lacking right now. There we go. So I think that's a pretty solid first little flower patch. Now we have to do it two more times because I want to make another one up here and I want to make another one on this island as well. Now I was thinking about like what else I could add and honestly guys like there's nothing else that I can really add that won't take up uh like placement space for farms. So I'm gonna have to like work with uh, some more stamps and I'm gonna have to try to like come up with something to add a little bit more detail in these blank areas like i'll probably end up adding like a couple of stones i'll just make it so that you can like place towers on underneath the stones right now the flowers on the island don't have to be too crazy because i want to have them like or I, I don't want the flower like field on the island to be as big as this one over here or have or as big as one i'm going to be making up here either so this one's just going to be a little bit smaller uh it'll have all the flowers that the other like flower patches have but it'll just be a little bit on the smaller side and then what i think i want to do is i think i want to work with the grass again as well and then we'll add like a bunch of grass in like the spots where there aren't any flowers and we'll see how that ends up looking it should end up looking pretty good um that way or it'll end up working pretty good as a filler um also another thing that i could do is i could add like a couple of like crates to act as like crates that washed up on the shore but i don't want to do it with this island i want this island to be or seem more like secluded and so far i think it's looking pretty good so now or i think it's all i'm gonna do for the flower patches in the middle of the island now let's go ahead and finish up with the flower patches up here so we'll actually break this up into two separate flower patches. We'll have one over here on this side, and then we'll have another one over here on this side. All right, and I think that's going to do it for the flower patches. Now, like I was saying, we need to have something else that's going to add a little bit more detail here. And another thing that we could use, we could actually use like these small trees here, um, opposed to using um, the shrubs. And these would actually look pretty good. Um, I just need to like tilt it the right way. And then if we add these around the trees, um, we can like add more or we, we, can, we can eventually, or we can definitely add more shrubs, but this will definitely add a little bit more of a different aspect what we normally have, right? So I didn't add too many of them. I only added a couple of them, which ended up working out pretty good. Um, Now uh, let's go ahead and add the shrubs around the trees. Well, the rest of the shrubs around, around the trees. All right. And I think that's looking pretty good. Um, I just need to add a couple more uh like one right here would look pretty good and then we'll add like another one over here and then i think for around the trees that looks pretty good i added a couple of shrubs like along the like um rock face as well and i'm gonna end up adding a couple more up here too um and this is just to add a little bit more greenery uh well lift a little bit of a different shade of green to the mountain there we go and i think that looks pretty good now the next thing we need to do we need to find something to add a little bit more detail to this grass because it doesn't look bad but it can definitely look better um also what are we gonna do with the ocean um honestly i didn't really think about the ocean too much because i was just gonna use like uh, the waves that are passively with uh the ocean to add that detail and i think it would end up looking pretty good uh, let's actually add a couple of rocks just to, like um add a little something extra to our map and then what else can we add here guys uh we could add ourselves like this little like um sandbar thing i think that would look pretty cool um let's also add like another sandbar up here but we need it to face the right direction there we go now we don't now the sandbar can only add a little bit of detail like we don't want to overuse the sandbar otherwise we'll be in a little bit of trouble because then it's just like 
it'll seem like there's too much with the sandbars right and you know what just by adding a couple of pebbles around like the rock piles it made the rock piles blend in a little bit better and it like it took up some of the blank space that i was worried about now the only question is i think we're gonna have to do it like i didn't really want to do it but we're gonna have to we're, we're gonna have to use some of this grass but the only problem is like what grass we want to use so probably this grass and then probably uh the little bit of a lighter grass and then where's like uh, the darker green grass i think uh, this grass would end up working out the best so let me go ahead and shrink the size just a touch and then we'll start off by with this really light light grass and we'll like fill in all the spots that really don't have any like props and we'll just add this grass in all these blank areas all right guys and i think i'm gonna go ahead and call it there for the grass like i just want to fill in the blank spaces with this grass and i think that did a really good job at filling in all of those empty spaces that I was really really worried about would take away from the effect that we're going with with our map now that we've added the grass the next thing i want to do is i want to go through and i want to add some shade as well um, that way, by adding the shade, we'll add a little bit more detail to our map um, as well. We'll add some shade around the mountain because, of course, we have to add shade around the mountain. Otherwise, like the mountain's going to look a little bit barren unless we have like a little bit of something extra with all the shade. And to be honest, I really didn't have to add too much shade because, I mean, we already had everything taken care of with like the like the contrast by just adding that grass. That grass adds like a whole new aspect to our map that I definitely felt like we were missing. Now, I would add some starfish, but we already have like a bunch of detail here. So I feel like adding starfish would just uh, end up like hurting more than it would help, right? So instead of adding starfish, uh, let's add ourselves a couple of like sunspots over here uh, to add a little bit more detail to um like uh, this little cove here. And then um it looks like uh, there's nothing else that we could really add along here that would like help our map at all um other than like adding a little bit more grass up here too uh let's also add a little bit more up here like this and that'll also help out with those rocks as well I mean, it's crazy how just like adding a little bit of grass can really add so much life like to your map it's actually ridiculous all right guys like i'm looking at our map and apart from like adding a couple of fishies like there's nothing else that i really feel like our map needs right we're not gonna go with we're not gonna go crazy with the fish we'll just add like a couple of these like add um add like a couple of sharks to the map um the only problem is i don't know if these will end up like blocking any like um powers i don't think it does but I just want to be on the safe side, so I'll spread them out just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and add a little bit more life by adding a couple of crabs. Now, crabs, one thing that we could definitely add, because, I mean, crabs will just end up, like, adding to the life of our map. So I definitely feel like we should have a couple, right? Now, I almost want to add, like, a little bit of shade to our map down here in the bottom, kind of simulating that it's going to, like, the deep, the deeper sea. I kind of like this for, like, going to the, deep, to the deeper sea, but it doesn't really have a good transition, right? Like, it looks good but the transition just seems a little bit off like it goes from like this uh this this light blue instantly over to uh, this dark blue and i don't really like that aspect about it but all right guys i think that's gonna do it for a map i really really like the way that this turned out and this is gonna be really really fun to like set a new record for my highest round well at least for my highest round without using mods now also we want to add a little bit of background effect um and you know what to add a little bit more effect let's turn this into a rainy map and then we'll add like raindrops in the water and that'll add a little bit more detail to the water but all right guys i think that looks really cool so we have a little bit of background effect with the rain effect so i think that really adds so much more detail to like this open water that I was a little bit worried about so now of course we need to choose some music so what are we going to choose for music you know what let's just go with uh the classic tribes and tribulations i really like the way that that sounds and i feel like it kind of like fits the theme of the map that we have going on here so now the last thing we have to do is of course play our map also we need to come up with our own name for our map too so i think a name for this map that would suit pretty good is so i think i want to call this map the island's endless loop i think this is a pretty good name for this map now I, I, obviously i will be playing this again probably in the next video going to like super late late, late game so let's go ahead and give this map a test to see what this map is all about let's also change our hero over to corvus as well all right so everything seems to be working and nicely let's go ahead and place down our corvus uh, and then we'll place down our corvus like over here and we'll also grab ourselves a free dart monkey too 
and then let's see uh what this map is all about guys like obviously this map isn't gonna be hard because what what i say the blues do like 24 20 no 27 loops 27 loops before they finally leave leave the map that's gonna be absolutely bonkers like, I think we could get away with it just using Corvus to uh, beat this map, guys. But while I am beating this map, I just want to say thank you guys so much for the support on the series, as always. I really appreciate the support you guys are giving by dropping likes, uh, by just watching the video in general, and, of course, all of the feedback and comments that you guys leave as well. You guys are absolutely fantastic. But that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video so far, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also, if you guys are new around here, don't forget to subscribe as well because I do upload a daily BT6 content. Also, if you guys have any map ideas that you guys would like to see me create, like if you guys want to see me remaster a map, or if you guys like me creating like new maps in general, or if you guys have a map that you guys would like to see me go to Super Late Game on, please feel free again to let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to make, make it happen. But anyways, dudes, there's not really too much to see because I feel like our Corvus is just absolutely going to shred all the way up until round 40, and we really don't have anything to do. Uh, we'll probably need to grab a little bit of lead popping power but in order to grab a little bit of lead popping power you know what let's just go and grab ourselves a glue gunner and that should be more than enough right but i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward to round 40 and i'll see you guys here in just a second dude i realized something really overpowered about using corvus on, on this map and if we use corvus's trample the trample is gonna go around this map 27 times before it leaves that's gonna be crazy i actually kind of want to try it out <laughs> look at the trample dudes it's just doing non-stop circles no balloon would stand a chance against this guys this is ridiculous it just won't stop it just keeps going and going and going uh i probably should grab camo detection though oh man that's ridiculous so trample is gonna be really overpowered on on this map so i think what i want to do uh when round 40 hits is i'll go ahead and activate corvus's trample because it's gonna absolutely annihilate all of the balloons as well as it's gonna be able to deal with the moab balloon too i believe actually you know what i think if i activate the trample like right now it'll still be going on round 40. man that's so broken that is literally so broken um i almost oh wait we can't activate the echo because the echo won't work which is kind of unfortunate but it's all right like i kind of feel like uh, the we're kind of messing up here because i feel like we're creating a infinite regen farm um i need to hurry up and buy myself a druid otherwise we'll be in serious trouble here yeah we'll definitely be in some serious trouble if i if i let that slide um guys i think we might be in a little bit of trouble i think i created an endless regen farm because even though i have my druid like the druid isn't like stopping the re the regen balloons we've gone past the point of being able to stop the balloons um is there anything that we could do to like stop this um i don't know like we need something that has like a high pierce cap so i think the only thing that i could use is like the plasmix no that's definitely not not gonna work um what else can i use like i don't know of anything that has like a high enough pierce cap to like stop this okay so i went ahead and restarted because that was just a little bit too much um instead of using uh corvus's trample let me just go ahead and start off with the druid instead and then we'll go ahead and activate trample here in a second for round 40 at least all right let's go ahead and activate the trample and then honestly i thought the trample would do more damage but it really doesn't do too much damage at all but all right dudes we have officially beaten our map um let me go ahead and share our map so if you guys would like to play this map for yourself here is the code and if you guys do end up playing this map make sure you guys let me know what round you guys will make it to because I'm having, or I'm making a little bit of a prediction here that if you play on this map, you can easily make it past round 400. That is, of course, if you want to deal with like the late game lag, of course. But anyways, dudes, again, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you dudes in the next one.